Louisville, Mississippi Conference. To say that we have faced many transitions in only a few years would be an understatement. We are post-pandemic, post-disaffiliations, and we are now post-2020 postponed General Conference. Our world and our church as we know it, they're very different now. The General Conference made a lot of changes in our church, but do you know what has not changed? The mission of the United Methodist Church to go and make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world, that has not changed. And although we've seen our share of 330 churches leaving, I want to talk to you about why I'm staying. See, as your Episcopal leader, I have to be very honest and transparent that I have spent much time in prayer, conversation, and discernment over these last few weeks. I was asking God to guide me and to help me lead you. If you remember, I told you all at the last year's session of annual conference that it was time for us, the Mississippi Conference, to change the narrative. The narrative in the Mississippi Conference was for us to move from disaffiliations to discernment to discipleship. I also told you that the disaffiliations would not be the end of the United Methodist Church here in Mississippi, as well as it would not be the end of mission, generosity, and resilience. Because see, I give God all the glory that disaffiliations did not end any of those things. Now you may say to me, oh, Bishop, how do you know that? See, I know because we're still here. We are still here standing, Mississippi. See, the conference disaster response is still accomplishing immediate relief and long-term recovery from our communities impacted by disaster. We are still connecting our students to Christ and creating spaces for spiritual formation at college campuses. We're still generating the excitement about our lighthouse congregations that we know are safe harbors for people to heal, to process their faith, and to find a place to belong. If you don't remember anything else I say today, remember this, neither disaffiliation nor any decisions that came out of General Conference will be the end of discipleship making. I've told you before that I believe that all people need Jesus. See, God is sovereign and God is aware of everything that has happened and will happen. God's word is true. And God knows the nature of all things and still calls and commissions us in Scripture to go and therefore make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Word also says, teaching them to observe all that Jesus commanded. And behold, He will be with us always to the end of the age. Now, we do have to be honest that, yes, the Book of Discipline and our social principles have changed. Our call to ministry, to love each other, and to lead people to Jesus, that hasn't changed. The mission of the United Methodist Church is to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. That has not changed. Even with the changes in the language of our new Book of Discipline. The mission stays the same. The Great Commission in the Bible has not changed. Now more than ever, we need to be the church. We need to be the church in a posture of discernment and discipleship making. See, Mississippi, I'm staying. And I'm going to lead, and I'm going to lead people to Jesus. My prayer, brothers and sisters, is that you will stay with me 
and help me to lead. Amen. Mm-hmm.